Today on the channel from Mattel Series 93, we got Raquel Gonzalez. Rodriguez? Gonzalez? Gonzalez. The spirit of the Living Warrior will run forever! Welcome everyone, Kyle here. Welcome back to the channel for another unboxing of WWE Mattel Elite Series 93. And today... We've got Raquel Gonzalez. Don't call me Rodriguez, or should we? We know that Raquel, NXT superstar for the last few years, of course, Raquel Gonzalez there, just moved recently up to the SmackDown roster, and now she is going by the name Raquel Rodriguez. So very, very interesting times for her character, but at least we got one figure of her in her NXT form. Will the next one be Rodriguez? I guess we'll have to all stay tuned to find out. But of course, well, I picked up this at Wrestling Collector's Shop. Use discount code KYLE. Discount code KYLE10 to save. So Raquel Gonzalez here, first time in the line. Always exciting to get a first time in the line figure in the Elite line. As historically as of late, first time in the lines have come in the Basic series, but not for old Raquel. And she's got interesting jacket with her as well and of course we're going to do this like we do all the unboxings on the channel we're going to take a look at the packaging we're going to talk about it we're going to unbox it we're going to talk about it we're going to see where it goes from there so let's check out the packaging on Raquel Gonzalez there she is looking only like she can look she does have the NXT title it looks like the men's NXT title uh, but it is uh, an NXT title I guess and we'll call it that but I don't think that is the correct title with her First time in the line right there, a little glamour shot, got her name. Once again, it is now Rodriguez, so don't call her Gonzalez. Two extra hands, WWE logo, Elite, and then of Series 93, which she is a part of. On the side, there she is, looking only like she could look. Raquel Gonzalez on that side, and then we've got the back. Of course, we got the blur, we got a little glamour shot, we got the tail of the tape, and we got the cross sell. Of course, we're going to unbox these all on the channel at the end of the week. We're going to unbox the Ricky the Dragon Steamboat Chase figure, and we're going to rank the entire wave in order of my least favorite to my favorite, so stay tuned for that. So let's read the back, see what's going on with old Raquel Gonzalez. From Rio Grande Valley, Texas, six feet even, finisher, the good old power bomb. Career highlights, NXT Women's Champion, NXT Women's Tag Team Champion. Raquel Gonzalez proved she's the best when she defeated Io Shirai for the NXT Women's Championship and NXT TakeOver Stand and Deliver. And I've seen Raquel Gonzalez basically from day one in the WWE as uh, a lot of NXT house shows over my way over the years. My daughter and I went to quite a few of them. And she used to do a gimmick like a young Stan Hansen coming out with the bull rope and the cowbell, uh, the chaps, all that kind of stuff. I was kind of a, a favor of that outfit, but I guess they said, hey, that, there's no money in that. Let's turn her into this, and we're off to the races from them. But if some of you might remember her old cowgirl gimmick, if you do, let me know in the comments down below. All right, let's get Raquel out of the package here. Of course, this is the newer packaging. We've, we've had this for a few series now. Uh, it isn't as strong of a package as we've had in the past, as we know. The cardboard's a little, little iffy from time to time on this. Get the nice WWE background there. There it is. See you later. Off to the side. There it goes. Uh, no twist ties up. We're clamped in at the arms, though. And the feet. Oh, they don't want Raquel going anywhere. There she is. Quite the robe there. I assume this will feel like Edge's robe. So we'll we'll see. Edge, of course, from Legends Series 14. Check out that review on the channel. Check out the chase. Check out the rankings as we always rank the sets. We've got to. we got to rank them. See where we like them. But a Legends 14, a very, very strong Legends set, if you ask me. Uh, Raquel does come with two fists. You guys know I'm a big fan of the fists. Definitely for Raquel, she needs some fists to throw around. There it is. See you later. Goodbye. There it goes. And once again, like I said, I believe that's the NXT male champion title belt. But we've seen the NXT belt in the past. Uh, I don't know what happened here in this set that we got the same one for Killer Cross and her. Or I should say Karrion Cross. Don't call him Killer quite yet. Uh, we get two fists with her. Once again, the smaller female fist. Uh, she is a big chick. Six feet. I don't know if she's quite six feet. Five nine, five ten. I would say at least uh, from the times I've stood next to her. Just judging by my height, of course. Uh, but yeah, she does have two fists, which is always appreciated. You guys know I love a good fist. Uh, and then we get down to Raquel. And just as I thought, this jacket does feel like Edge's 
I like this jacket. I like this material. Uh, very nice. Very nice black lining inside. Very garbage bag kind of material, but man, it works, and it definitely looks like uh, figures we've seen in the past from her. Now, does she have a nose ring or does she have a smudge on her nose? I don't know. Did she have a nose ring? I don't remember that, but I got a little black speck on her right nostril. I don't know. Somebody going to have to let me know in the comments if you have this one. There's a little black speck. It almost looks like a nose ring, but I think it might be a black smudge, which is unfortunate, uh, of course. Let me get this jacket off her. I'm going to pull that. Holy cow, we got a little Jazzwares. Uh, Jazzwares is involved here. I don't know what's going on. We've got collusion, as one might say. Uh, she looks like she's getting ready to inseminate a cow. Uh, she's got the uh, garbage bags on her arm. So we see that from Jazzwares historically in the first, uh, I don't know how many Jazzwares sets, uh, but it's plastic material over the arm so the, the fabric or whatever we're going to call it does not bleed and stain the plastic. So very interesting. We, I don't think we've ever seen that from Mattel before. We're going to have to take these hands off to get this off, I think. Maybe. Jeez. Holy cow. So that is very interesting. So I, they're taking a play from Jazzwares' book. They probably said, Jazzwares, boy, they're, they're on it. They're really thinking. Uh, so they put that on there. But very, very interesting. Now I'm a little bit worried. Is this jacket going to stain the figure? Is that why that why That's why it's on there. It's to protect from staining. That does concern me. That does worry me. I guess time will tell on that. Uh, this is one of those ones where if I could find on clearance, I wouldn't be opposed to having two of these. You switch the hands. One has the jacket. One doesn't have the jacket. It feels like you have two different figures that way. But very interesting. But I tell you what, I like this Raquel Gonzalez. That little dot on the nose does... Uh, bother me a little bit though i might have to work on cleaning that off somehow uh but this isn't a bad figure the head maybe is a little tight a little skinnier than it needs to be but boy this looks really good and it feels really good in hand as well uh so once again pinless joints double jointed and pinless here we do have the pins in the leg but uh the pinless joints you guys know i'm a sucker for pinless joints and it's always cool to see that in the female form here Nice orange and black, young like a young Taz tank top going on. I like the two-tone hair as well, the dark with the blonde ponytail. Ponytail up there is, I believe, oh, we got a little movement there. I'm a little worried it could break off if you're not careful. Uh, I could see kids getting this, breaking that ponytail off. Uh, that's just one of those things you would see. She does have her little tattoo action on the side right there. That's always a nice touch that they didn't forget that kind of stuff. Black paint for the wrist tape. Uh, but like I said, double jointed elbows on her. Hands removable, of course. Bicep swivel, shoulders go all around. Head, let's see how removable. Very easily removable. I know a lot of people do like that. So if you need to switch heads around, you're customizing, you can do that very simply. Nice diaphragm at the top. Tons of hula hoop action there for her. And then a waist articulation as well. Uh, thigh swivel, double jointed knees. Uh, ankle articulation, the ankles are not tight. That is nice. Very good figure. Like I said, this feels very nice in hand. Very, very strong first time in the line representation here. I don't know if it's going to be my favorite figure of the set, but I'm definitely going to give it the old uh, better than expected figure here. Uh, all black down below. Got some silver accents to the boots down below as well. Uh, the orange and black attack looks really good on her. And it definitely looks like her. If you took, gave me this head and said, who is this? I could tell you it's Raquel Gonzalez, Rodriguez, Rodriguez, Gonzalez. I can tell you it's one of them too. And once again, I do like the pleather. The old pleather jacket looks really good. Fits her. Title belt, nice accessory. Even if it is the wrong one, you could always use it with a different superstar in your collection. Two fisted hands. Hey, you're firing on all cylinders for old Kyle here. So I do like this Raquel Gonzalez. Very strong one. It'll be interesting to see how well she sells with her getting called up to the main roster right now. Uh, just an all-around fabulous Mattel figure. So I'm here for it. I like it. Raquel Rodriguez, Raquel Gonzalez, whatever we're going to call her, I'm going to call it a good figure. But what do you say out there in YouTube land? Are you here for this? Are you excited about this one? Let me know in the comments down below. Of course, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Follow along on Patreon for this video and a lot of other videos much, much earlier, as well as giveaways, of course, on the old Patreon Make sure you sign up. Link in the description below. You can hit me up on social media at SirPaul64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson, and ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. So for Raquel Gonzalez, Rodriguez Gonzalez, I am Kyle. See you guys all real soon.